solve system of linear equations by using the substitution method. And here are the five steps. The first step is we'll solve one equation for one of its variables. If one of the variables has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, you want to choose that variable because it usually makes the substitution easier. The second step is we'll substitute for that variable in the other equation. The result should be an equation in just one variable. Next, we'll solve the equation. Then we'll substitute that new found result into one of the original equations. And then we'll check for the solution. In this example, we're asked to solve the system by substitution 5x plus 2y equal to 2 and y is equal to 3x. So we can see that one of the equations is already solved for one of its variables, which is y. So now what we'll do is we'll substitute the y equal to equation into our other equation. So I'm going to write this out as 5x plus 2y is equal to 2. And we're going to substitute y for negative 3x. So wherever I see a y, I'll substitute for negative 3x. So we have 5x plus 2 times y, which is negative 3x, is equal to 2. And notice that our, our equation is in now one variable. So I'll simplify. We have 5x minus 6x is equal to 2. 5x minus 6x is negative x is equal to 2. We'll multiply both sides by a negative, therefore x is equal to negative 2. Now to find our other variable y, we'll simply take this x equal to negative 2 result and we'll substitute it into one of our original equations. So here I'll just simply choose the first equation. We have 5x plus 2y is equal to 2. We're going to substitute x for negative 2. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, plus 2y is equal to 2. And now I'll simply add 10 to both sides. 2y is equal to 12. I'll divide both sides by 2, therefore y is equal to 6. So our ordered pair solution is negative 2 and 6. Let's take a look at another example. And here we're asked to solve the linear system by using the substitution method. And notice that one of our equations is already solved for one of its variables, which is x. So I'll simply take this x equal to equation and we'll substitute it into the 3x plus 4y equal to 4 equation. So I'm going to write this out as 3x plus 4y is equal to 4. And wherever I see an x, I'm going to substitute that with 2y plus 18. So this is 3 times x. And I'm going to substitute x with 2y plus 18. I'm going to bring down my plus 4y is equal to 4. And now I'll distribute 3. So we have 6y plus 54 plus 4y is equal to 4. I'll combine like terms. 6y plus 4y is 10y plus 54 is equal to 4. In order to solve for y, I will subtract 54 from both sides. So we have 10y is equal to negative 50. I'll divide both sides by 10, therefore y is equal to negative 5. To get our next result, I'll take the y equal to negative 5, and I'll substitute it into one of the original equations. So I'll simply choose that first equation. 
3x plus 4y is equal to 4. I'm going to substitute y for negative 5. So this is 3x plus 4 times y, which we're going to substitute with a negative 5 is equal to 4. I'll simplify. We have 3x minus 20 is equal to 4. I'll add 20 to both sides. I'll divide by 3. And we have x is equal to 8. So our ordered pair solution is 8 and negative 5.